So when we finally do get someone engaged, they've actually come to the front door. I like to give a big warm smile, okay? I like to almost give a goofy smile, all right? And you want to disarm them, that you're not someone that they need to be concerned about, okay? That you're a very friendly person and that you're there, uh, <clears throat> you know, with their best interest in mind. So here's a couple of do's and don'ts for your introduction. And again, some of these may seem unorthodox to you. So number one, say good afternoon or say good evening, but do not say how are you. You can say hello there, say good evening, good afternoon. These are all polite and courteous, okay, but they don't relinquish control of the conversation immediately. Okay, when you walk up to a front door and you say, how you doing? How are you? You're immediately relinquishing control over to the homeowner. That's a bad idea. Their response could be very long, could be short, could be nice, could be mean. Okay. Say, I'm tired, I'm busy, I'm in a hurry. There's all kinds of things they can say. All right, so we want to focus on keeping control of the conversation early on. And you can do that best by saying good afternoon, good evening, and then roll right into your introduction. Okay, avoid the how are you, how's it going, how you doing. All right? No early handshakes. Handshakes should be done after we've established a rapport, after we've set an appointment with them, or upon our exit greeting. All right? We're not going to get involved early on in shaking their hands. They don't know you yet. Okay? They don't want you approaching them. They don't want you touching them. At this point, we have to establish a rapport first. Okay? Do not begin by handing flyers or brochures. Okay? A lot of people want to get in the habit of putting something in, in the hands of the other individual. They think that creates engagement. It actually causes more problems. Okay? When you are approaching someone the minute they come to the door, all right, they're intimidated. All right? We don't want to be that close to them this early on. Okay? The other problems that it creates for us is they're reading that which we handed them. Okay, so they start to read the literature that we provided to them. That's, a, that's an issue. They're not listening to us, they're focused on the literature. Okay? Another issue is they're going to take the literature we provided to them and they're going to say, I've got your name, I've got your number, I've got your, your web address, I'll call you. I'll call you. Okay? So we just shot ourselves in the foot and now we're admiring our own aim. Okay? That doesn't make any sense. So we don't want to get in the habit of handing literature too early on. Okay? We have to establish a rapport, a rapport and a dialogue first. Okay? I want you to be animated. I really want you to sell the story that we're working in the area. Okay? We're, we're canvassing around our job sites. Let's take advantage of this fact. Let's use this. Okay? You don't want to square off with the homeowner and be squared off like a boxer at the beginning of a match. Okay, you want your hips to be a little bit at an angle. Okay, I usually have them at the angle facing the job site where we're working, even if it's three miles in that direction. We're just apologizing for any disruption in the area. Okay, and so I'm pointing down to the work that we're doing, even if it's far, far away. If I'm, if we're working this way, and I'm facing this way. Okay, but there's a slight angle there. Step one in your introduction is going to be what we call a public service announcement. This really disarms the prospect, gets the prospect thinking that the only purpose for your visit is strictly to make them aware of the fact that you're working in the area, and that you have a public service announcement for them. And this actually puts the prospect at ease. Okay? So don't worry about saying your personal name. Don't worry about saying your company name. Okay, don't worry about talking about what you specialize in. Okay? At this point, we just want to say, hey, I just want to apologize for any disruption we might have caused. I'm not sure if you've seen our trucks in the area. I'm not sure if you've seen our crew working at all. We've actually been installing a new roof you know, down the street. Okay? Your ID badge will do all the talking for you. It's got your name. It's got your photo. It's your company name on there. So that will serve as, you know, communicating to the homeowner exactly where you're coming from. We don't need to be redundant, okay? If you feel the need to lift up your ID badge after you've done your public service announcement and say, by the way, I'm Tony with Improve It, 
Okay, you could do that at that time, but engage them initially with that apology. Okay, they don't know if you're stopping by to apologize because you accidentally drove over their tree lawn, because you're going to be cutting down trees in their yard. Okay, they don't know why you're stopping by to apologize, but they're going to be riveted. They're going to be paying attention. 